Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Bound by Flame, um, and you are clearly from the team who worked on Mars Warlocks. Yeah, I'm the CEO of the company, in fact. And Bound by Flame is an action RPG. It's, in fact, it's close to Mars on the on the gameplay aspects, but of course the universe is completely different because it's a dark fantasy game. And uh, we really tried to to listen to all the critics we had from the players, from the press, of course, too, and we tried to work differently on some aspects that sounds a little poor on, on Mars because it was a shorter games and we've got now some more budgets and more time to develop it so we try to improve all the things we can um, mostly on the some aspect on the fight uh, most of the stealth aspect we try to improve to the companions with a of course far better AI on, uh, on the guys uh, we try to uh, to work more on the, all the items so we had a lot of different weapons swords axe and all the things a lot of different uh, armors too the craft will be enormous and we'll try to uh, to make the craft interesting not only at the beginning of the game but the whole game for it uh, and we try to design some monsters that are huge to well to have a, a really heroic feeling in the game so it's really different how long are you looking for a gameplay wise uh, Mars was about 12 you're how long are you shooting for with bound by flame uh, it will be more about 25 Harrys I mean just the main quest and there is a lot lot of side quests so it will be of course depending on the players what, what where they want to play, but well, it's nearly the double, the double than Mars. And well, it's a retail game, so it's different. But uh, there is one chapter more. There is uh, all the environments are bigger, and uh, as you've got plenty of things to do there, of course, it will take longer. There's some really clear inspirations from Knights of the Old Republic and the Witcher series. It's seen in Mars Warlogs. Is there is that to be found again in Bound by Flame? And are there other games that really kind of inspired you that that brought you know that you want to bring more of a hard core gameplay into from there? Uh, well, I think that Darksiders, of course, uh, is an inspiration on the, I mean, on the combat aspect, and we want the game to be, well, not in normal mode, but if you're playing in hardcore things, it will be a hard game. Uh, and, well, we're still gauging, you know, what we loved in the different games, so uh, I think that's, of course, on the story aspect, dialogues, it's not that far from Qatar, but uh, yeah, you'll still find some uh, action aspects that are more from the Witcher, uh, some aspects uh, as a steel system. Uh, I think it's uh, it's a really new uh, thing, because uh, I don't think that some RPGs that already uh, use this kind of, uh, you know, you can switch to mode to another, and uh, we had this type of things in our Fox and Man, in another way, yeah. uh, but it was more tactical, it was uh, more, uh, you were just giving orders, here you play it, so of course it's far different. Are there going to be, uh, one of the really great things about Mars Warlogs was there was a lot of mature themes to it, but and you weren't afraid to kind of shy away from it, and it wasn't done in a, in a silly fashion. Are you are you trying to do the same thing with this, or have you kind of toned back that, uh, that feeling to try to appeal to a larger audience? Uh, it's still mature game. We, we, we really want to have, you know, some interesting stories with real characters, uh, major team, and well, there is already a lot of RPGs for kids. We did some. I mean, we did Fairy, which was a, a game for kids, and it was not that stupid. I mean, for kids, not, not mean stupid. Right. But uh, we want to, to, to talk about major things, and we don't want to be, uh, you know, restrained to some theme that can, well, talking to everybody means that you will be something that is like that. Really bland. Yeah, yeah. and we want to have something that, of course, some people will, will probably d uh, dislike the game, but... Oh, so you're looking to make a hardcore RPG for hardcore RPG fans. Yeah, exactly. Great. What's, what, what we love to, to do. So. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, your English was great.